yeah, it's me again, obviously. How's it going? Um, I'm doing a little better. Um, the depression, I mean, it kind of goes in cycles, so... Uh, it was said in my last video, in a couple comments, that when one cares a little too much about what other people think of them, it's kind of a sign of a self-esteem issue. And you're right. You're totally right about that. I, I've been having a lot of really bad self-esteem issues. And where a lot of it, where, where pretty much all of it really started was when I decided to lose weight. Before I made that decision, I was still in that mindset of, oh, healthy at any size, which is false. Um, if you didn't know already, um, I, I was heavy on purpose. It was kind of a fetish thing for me. And I would get mad at anyone who tried to show me that it's it wasn't such a great idea to do. And then I come to realize, oh shit, I guess they were right. And so physically, you know, um, things have been... I've just made incredible improvements. But mentally, I've kind of went downhill. Because I'm continually asking, well, if they were right about that, then what else were they right about? And the people who were the most vocal about telling me that, hey, uh, yeah, being heavy isn't, it's not healthy. Um, most of the people that were telling me that were on the right. So... That's one of the reasons why I end up considering what people on the right say more than I should. It's it's hard to find the balance uh, between who am I? You know, what is what are my interests? What are the things that make me me? And what, and, you know, how much of that is rebelling against standards? And are people, have people been right to push those standards? You know, have I been foolish in pushing against those standards? So... I don't know, it's, it's just been difficult. It's been rough. There, were, there was a, a therapist that I saw for about a month. Saw him, saw him once a week for about a month. And eventually was just like, this is ridiculous. This is... The, the, the therapist sucked. I mean, just sucked. Couldn't remember, uh, I could tell the, the therapist something and they'd forget what I said ten minutes later. Like, he doesn't really pay much attention to what anyone is saying, and then the only thing that he gave as advice sounded like something he could take, he could have grabbed out of a, a random grab bag of, of little phrases like fortune cookies or something, and he'd say some phrase. It's just like, um, that's so generic that could apply to anyone. It wouldn't matter what anyone said, you know? So, yeah, I stopped seeing him, um, and I got discouraged in, in looking for others. I should probably look more into that. But, yeah, I've, I've had a lot of really bad self-esteem issues. Um, other things that go into the, the self-esteem issues is, I mean, I, I, again, having to do with the weight thing is, you know, since I lost so much weight, I, uh, I've got the, the extra skin thing going on. And not as bad as with some people. I mean, not as bad as someone who was actually morbidly obese and lost weight. I, I wasn't quite to that degree. But, you know, I think to myself, well, why would anyone want to be with me? Right? 
as if someone's physical appearance is the most important element to uh, a relationship. And some of why I would think that is because I used to be very I used to be that way myself. I used to uh I used to look at the as a physica at the physicality as being the most important thing. I used to be very superficial. I used to be very judgmental in turn someone down, you know, a, a possible uh, person of interest. I would turn someone down because of of physical things. I'm not proud of that. I've changed, but part of me goes, well, I don't deserve to be with anyone because of how I used to think. Which isn't true, and I have to tell myself, you know, who am I now? It doesn't matter who I was a few years ago. Who am I now? What have I learned from the experiences that I've went through? That's what I need to think about more. And it's it's been a slow process. But yeah, I, I need to get some sort of I need to get some sort of self-esteem back and you know I the support I've gotten from people here on YouTube has been amazing. I, I need to state that. I, I really appreciate uh, your supportive comments and just your support in general. That's been amazing and, and I don't know what I would have done without you. Um, People go through low times and, and high times, and that's not the right way of wording it, but I can't get my wording right now, so. You've stuck with me through my ups and downs, and I appreciate it. Now I just, I, I really just need to figure out how to not take what I hear coming from the right to heart. Because a lot of this isn't stuff that's, that people have directly said to me. A lot of it is I, I go to, I'll, online, I'll, I'll go to a number of different places, I'll look at articles, I'll look at comments on those articles, I'll go to different videos, I'll, I'll see the comments on those videos. I go to BitChute, and see comments that are on BitChute. And then I let it get to me. That's what I was meaning by that video that I made that said that I sometimes seem to let the alt-right and the far-right get to me. I'm not necessarily talking about, again, things that people have said in comment sections of my own videos, because that's not where most of this comes from. Most of it is stuff that I'm seeing being done to other people, being said to other people, and also just some of the content that right-wingers put out. You know, I... Sometimes I wish I was more stubborn on my... Uh, about my own views. I was sure a lot happier when I did. But... As we all know, being stubborn isn't necessarily a good thing, so... 
anyway, um, I just thought I'd do a follow-up to my last video, and I, I want to thank everyone for, for being so supportive.